Hello beautiful family in the light. Wishing you an incredible amazing day. I am showing this video from the cemetery. It's called Parkland Cemetery. And here I'm sitting with my dad's grave. Wow. I haven't been here in years, like years and years. I do talk to my dad every day. Every single day I receive him in spirit side. We have a communication. But I haven't been in his, um, I haven't visited this grave site in, I don't know, maybe he transitioned about almost 21 years ago. And I haven't visited here probably almost 20 years, maybe. Well, no, like maybe 17 or something like that. I don't even know. Part of it is because I didn't want to. You know, I was so mad at him. There was a lot of anger and hate inside of me towards him. And, and so it's been an incredible journey of uh, discovering a different part of me, discovering, uh, oh my gosh, so much, seeing through the illusion, seeing through the fabrics of life, seeing through the density and being able to establish communication with him on spirit side, because as a medium, I just didn't want to talk to him. And, for a long time, I didn't at all, just not at all. No matter how much he tried to communicate, I was not interested. Because I wanted to hold on to an anger and the story that I had, and which was very powerful because it was a very, um, it was, a, you know, a lot of pain inside of me, pain in my heart. And so that was always easier than to, <laughs> than to change it to love. So when we started get, becoming buddies and spirit side, it's been very different. Like I, you know, I laugh with him a lot and, and sometimes like he laughs so he recognizes. I tell him, I'm like, you're such an ass when you were a dad here. And, uh, but recognize the big role he played, huge role in my life, huge training ground, training ground so that I can I can really be in front of the masculine energy and not fit, not be afraid, um, and uh, be able to really handle men very comfortably. And gosh knows, being on the road and being in my field, the amount of men that I do face and see, and then, and then on the other side of it, be able to just love really love them and support them and recognize how much our men need love. So it's quite been an incredible journey of discovery. So what was fascinating was uh, in my own Oracle card reading, there have been three times uh, I have received a card that has some information about that says, you know, some of the questions that I have has to do with my father, my brother, my husband, and sons, which interesting, that's exactly what it is, even though my, you know, Carl and I have split up, it's been two years, but um, he's very much in my life, he's my best friend, um, though we have separate lives now. So the first time I ignored it, the second time I got a little closer to it, and the third time was this new moon before I came back to DC and, and in this, um, it caught my attention. So interesting enough, when I dropped my sons off at soccer practice is right next to the cemetery and I'd brought my drum and I was like, you know what, it's, it's time. Even though dad and I talk, um, I feel there's something very important that, um, just visiting here and, uh, and we coming here from this place of love, the transformative energy of love, whereas uh, the last time I've been here is from a place of anger. And I feel that space that I'm in, which just resonates a lot of love, and that love is the embodiment of the, of the vibration that I feel inside. It doesn't matter on the outside. It doesn't matter what another really whatever their truth is, is insignificant. That, that love that I feel is the vibration that feels incredible to me. And 
my connection to to the portal, to the divine portal, the river that runs through me, independent from the action of another, yet being able to really feel the compassion for wherever it is that they are, even if they're making choices that are hurtful, they're in the place where they are in that density and because they're farther from the vibration of love. So I feel very thankful to be here and this presence. There's always something magical about being in, in cemeteries. And when I was walking around, I was wondering, I was like, where on earth even is it? It's been years. And I asked spirits, I was like, you know what, just guide me, show me. I'll just drive, just show me where I need to go. So they started pointing and of course, this incredible grandfather tree. Let me show you the grandfather tree. Yeah, so beautiful. And then there's the visitors over there showed me the way. So I'm going to drum a little bit for my dad and uh, or for his, just for this grave. And uh, in this place of thankfulness, because he's played such a big role in my life particularly being a planetary healer, being on the road, the insane, crazy things I have to do and as a woman alone on the road and whew, wild stuff, but I'm unafraid. Just supported by love. It feels so good. Mm, so good to bathe in love. And thank you, Father, Son, for your glorious sun rays today. It's amazing and the green grass. Mm. So, my dear sisters and brothers, this is a personal one that I shared with you. In this now that I share this video with you, there's something inside of me that hasn't been there. I feel it's never been there. Or I may have gotten glimpses of it, but now it's more sustainable. I feel if there is anything that's more stable, it's that place inside of my heart that is, is very strong in the love inside. And, and despite that I have to shift things around, change things, move here, there, there, do whatever I have to do, the stability inside of me is greater than it has ever been. And that comes from the power of the heart and, and its connection to all fabric of life. Like I can feel my connection right now to these cherry blossoms. Let me show you. I can feel it in this wind. Here we go, the elders whispering. Thank you. Thank you. Woohoo. I can feel it in the beautiful moon that's about to become full on my birthday. It's going to be incredible. Mm. And you know, and it's from this place that we can share what seems to be in trouble on the outside, such as like the riots, such as the hurricanes, such as the earthquakes. We can see those, but we can dive deep inside through the compassion, just share our love instead. That is a choice. I'm so thankful to be remembering that such choice resides inside of me and choosing to honor the sacred energy of love instead. Mm. Aho, my dear ones. Namaste, en la kesh, banu va'esh, house, house. May you continue to find that divine essence inside of you. The flow of it, for you to write it, to embrace it, to enjoy it, celebrate it, and be one with it. Have a good one.